Hi, it's Shy Wilson, and I have something great for you in store today. So buckle up and come join me. We're going to be going over all different types of scrubs for your body and face, all using brown sugar. <laughs> have you found yourself in the last few months, if you haven't already, constantly washing your hands, washing your hands, moist towelettes in the car, moist towelettes, just constantly every five minutes, washing your hands, washing your hands. Well, a lot of that leads to a lot of dead skin. I know as for me, I have a lot of dead skin on my um, hand. I'm not sure if you can see it, but oh, my skin is peeling because I've just been constantly washing my skin because of the paranoia that's going on right now. So I wanted to introduce you guys my personal friends to the wonderful world of all natural body scrubs using brown sugar and coconut oil and for those of you who want to also honey and olive oil yes a lot of people um in the last few years always ask me shy how do you keep your skin so radiant so moisturized so i'm gonna let you in on a little secret come here it's all brown sugar, yes. Brown sugar will just revitalize your skin. So come join me now. I'm gonna take you through a little tutorial. I'm just not gonna talk about it. I'm gonna show you how to make one of my basic body scrubs at home. And I'm gonna put the links in down below. So if you get stuck or you need any help or you wanna know what other types of natural products, we're doing all natural, you can click the link below and you can always refer to it. Again, we're going natural. After this, you will chuck all your, like I say, foo-foo, la-la, the creme body scrubs that you bought at La Tutu Lada on the street. Oh yes, you will no longer buy your body scrubs. You're gonna scrub yourself, all right? So buckle up, get out a pencil and pad. Okay, okay, so did you have your pen? You have your pad? You have your thinking cap on? Alrighty, but guess what? You don't have to think with this. So the first main thing I want to tell everybody with these body scrubs, and again, the link is down below to some other recipes, but the main one I'm using, um, and I've cross-referenced this, they said you always want to use this just one time a week. Just one time a week. It's so natural. It's things that we commonly use, but it's so natural, but it's so potent. So make sure whether you using this on your skin or on your body, you want to only use, or your feet, your feet is wonderful too, once a week. Now you want to go to the store, Whole Foods, um, Ralph's, Lucky's, Albertsons, anywhere, but you always want to make sure you get your coconut, refined coconut oil, not the type you cook with, the type you cook with, you'll know, because it's going to be loose, very fluid, very loose. Refined, again, coconut oil comes in a jar just like this, and you'll be able to see because it's solid. And usually what I do is I get a, um, a pot of water or a kettle, and I boil the water, and I put it in a bowl, and I place this in the bowl, and probably in about maybe like five, 10 minutes, it'll start to loosen up, because you're going to need a half a cup to mix in with your brown sugar. Again, you want refined coconut oil, all righty? This has so many purposes as well. It also helps with hair growth. So, my women of color, if you want to have healthy hair, if you want to your, your hair to grow a little bit more, coconut oil. One time, ah, personal story, I hacked my eyebrows. Yes, I did. I like did my own eyebrows. I usually do. I don't know what was going on. I think I was like ru running late, rushing, you know how it is. And I kind of took off too much of my, of my eyebrows. So this one lady, um, she told me that you can actually just take a little coconut oil and put it on your eyebrows and that will promote hair growth as well. So mm, this just smells so lovely. I love it. I love it. I love it. So you also want to um, have your brown sugar. Now with the brown sugar, it doesn't matter. Now organic is always the best, but you can go again to Lucky's or Albertsons, Ralph's, and you want to get brown sugar. 
for me, it doesn't really matter if it's light brown sugar or brown or dark brown sugar, but you know, the dark brown sugar will really, it was really potent and smells so good. So when you're done exfoliating your body and using it on your body, feet, hands, toes, face, you will really smell like a sugar cookie. So what you want is brown sugar, just like this. And when, and when you um, put it in the cup, okay, you don't have to pack it. So I know brown sugar is for cooking, but we're not cooking today. So when you put it in, and I gave you a little example, this is a one, you want to start with one cup, one cup of brown sugar, you see? And you just lightly put it in. You don't have to pack it like you're cooking. You just put it in. Now, the best thing for you to do, which I did, and I'm so lucky I got these because they go so quickly, but that is mason jars. Don't you love them? My people are from the South, and this reminds me, you know, of the South where you put like, pickles, pigs, feed, and jelly in there. So you can actually buy these at the dollar store, 99 cent only store. And I saw a pack of eight maybe at Ralph's. So mason jars, because you want to make sure you seal that baby up. So I've already taken the liberty of getting one cup of brown sugar. Okay. So now what we're going to also do is with the coconut oil, we want a half a cup of coconut oil. So we're gonna pull this baby over. I'm not sure if you can see it. I have my mixers right here. I have a half a cup, again, of coconut oil. I have the coconut oil already in here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour it. Pour, pour, pour. Mix, mix, mix. Okay. If anyone could tell me what's 1990 sitcom that's from, comment below. You get a gold star if you remember that. I need a little bit more coconut oil. So we're going to pour, 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 mix, mix, mix. You got it. Remember, comment below if you remember what TV show that's from. <laughs> a little TV trivia. Okay, so I have everything I'm going to mix. I'm going to put this on a nice little towel right here. And if it gets on your hands, that's wonderful. You could just, oh, I just love, Whew, love it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix it correctly. So you want spoons, okay, or yes. And I am going to take the cup of brown sugar and put it in here. Because we're going to mix this all up in our mason jar. Can you see? Yeah, there you go. Okay, again, a cup, brown sugar, or light brown sugar. and a half a cup, okay. Oh my, so let's see if Miss Shy can do this. I know I can. So we're gonna kind of like gradually mix this in. Okay, not bad. So we're gonna put that in, spoon. Don't forget, I still have leftover brown sugar, but I just wanna, I just wanna really mix it really good. Oh, there we go. And if you can see, see I'm mixing it. But we still have some brown sugar put in. We just want to make sure we mix it right. So here's some more brown sugar from our one cup of brown sugar. And sometimes you might find out you don't need that much of the coconut oil. And again, I'm a sucker for coconut oil, but you can also put olive oil. Don't forget. And some of the recipes might say you could drop in some of, you know, a favorite um, kind of oil you have, like maybe frankincense or something of that sort to help the moisture because we want to moisture our skin. And again, you only use this once. See, we have a lot of coconut. See, we have a lot of um, brown sugar left, so don't worry. It looks kind of like applesauce right now, but we're going to drop some of this in. And if you don't use all of, woo, okay, now see the consistency, see, ah. see the consistency is getting a lot, oh, now it's hard to stir. So this is a nice little workout at the same time. So now the consistency is getting good and we're not done with the brown sugar yet. So that's what you want to do. And this is how it goes.
You always want to look at the bottom to make sure you're mixing it. Just like when you're doing like cookies, you want to make sure you mix it at the bottom. So that's why I'm taking my time. Now to complete. There we go. All righty now. So we used a cup of the brown sugar. And if you see right now, it is just, yes, this is what you want it to look like. Now, don't worry, because you've just mixed it. It might um, get a little stiff, but this is how you want it to look. Yes, 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 this is how you want it to look. So again, and we put about a half a cup in there. So don't forget, half a cup, one cup, and you mix it all in there, and look at the way it looks, yes. So then you just keep mixing and mixing and mixing, and it looks like this. Always check the bottom to make sure. And let me tell you this. While I am mixing, this contains brown sugar. It's bad for your intestines, but it's great for your skin because it contains AHA, which is alpha hydroxy acid. It helps rejuvenate and replenish your skin. Yes, now this is what they won't tell you at the Foo Foo La La stores. I'm telling you right now. So once a week on your hands and your feet and men this is wonderful for you as well especially when it comes to the beards the ingrown hairs so when i know men they use different kind of things like bump stopper to um make th their ingrown hairs go out so at, in the process of your ingrown hairs coming out from using that men use this again once a week and this will actually break all that skin around the ingrown hair bump. See, I love my men too. My young men who are starting to shave. I got you. It's okay. It's okay. So this is what you want it to look like. Let me take the spoon out. And it's just so wonderful. And it's so radiant. And I just had to show that to you. So don't forget to like and subscribe my page. And also check the links down below. So you might find some other ingredients like lemon or you might like to use olive oil instead of coconut oil. And please comment back and you can email me or you could comment me and I would like to know how this is working for you. Alrighty. Well, I want everyone to have a really blessed day. Stay safe out there. And until then, I will see you later. Mwah.